This presentation is an overview of the judging process for the STEM research project in the VEX-IQ program. The documents needed to judge STEM project videos may be found on the roboticseducation.org website under the Event Partner tab in the Partner Resources and Documentation section. In that section, you will find the awards appendix and the judge's guide, which includes both a description of the STEM project as well as the criteria used to evaluate team video presentations. The judge's guide includes the STEM project rubric, which is used by judges to evaluate team videos. The STEM Research Project Award is optional at local events. Local event partners are to determine if the STEM award is to be given at their event. Event partners choosing to give the STEM award at their event should post instructions for teams to submit their video URLs on their robot events listing. Unlike local events, the STEM Research Project Award is required at all state, regional, and national championships. In those cases, the event partner should also list the process for submitting URLs on their robot events listing. Teams will present their research findings in a four-minute video, which they will post online. Judges then use the STEM presentation rubric to evaluate the video based on the team's video quality and their understanding of their research project. Each year's research topic may be found on the roboticseducation.org website under the VEX-IQ program. The key criteria used to evaluate STEM project videos are shown on this slide. These criteria are also found in the Judge's Guide. After viewing each STEM video, the STEM rubric is completed by judges. Rubrics are used only to determine finalists for the STEM Research Project Award. They are not to be used to select the final award winner. This slide shows the STEM rubric which is found in the Judge's Guide. The blank rubric is published to aid teams as they prepare their video presentations so that they know what judges will be looking for. During final deliberations for the STEM Research Project Award, it is critical for judges to remember that STEM rubrics are qualitative in nature and are only to be used to narrow down the field of contenders and identify finalists for the award. Judges are always expected to apply their qualitative judgment to determine the final winner for all awards. Later in the season, judges will often see multiple teams score perfect threes across the board on the STEM rubric. Their qualitative judgment becomes critical under these circumstances. Judges should remember that all completed judging documents are confidential. This means that completed rubrics are not to be returned to teams, coaches, or event partners. As stated earlier, multiple teams may have perfect scores on a STEM rubric. A team that sees this may wonder what they did wrong, or why did the judges choose somebody else for the award? The best answer in this case is to simply tell them that they did nothing wrong. Explain that their team did a great job, however another team did just a little bit better. The judge advisor is responsible for disposing of all judging documents after an event in an appropriate manner. The judge advisor should avoid simply throwing documents in the closest trash can. Teams may wonder what the criteria is for presenting their STEM research project at VEX Worlds. In order to submit a STEM Research Project video for VEX Worlds, a team must have been awarded either the STEM Research Project or the Excellence Award at a state, regional, provincial, or national championship event. Eligible teams will submit their STEM Project video URL one month before VEX Worlds. Teams should be sure that the email contact listed on their team registration can be accessed both before and during VEX Worlds. We hope you enjoy your experience as a STEM research project judge. You may address any questions regarding judging to Tarek at roboticseducation.org. This contact information is available in the Judge's Guide as well as on this presentation.